So the third government is passed according to another discounting review. Siya po ay namatay dahil sa araw po ay nandaman. At ang buhay po ay pwede po habang nakabulagta sa bahay namin ang aking ama kinuha ang aking kapatid inilagay sa motor. Nangyanap po sa presinto hindi ko siya natagpuan. Nakita ko siya kasama at sporinaya at mga aking ama. Napakasakit ang gabi. Nakakanap buhay. Magkasamang batay sa porinaya ang makikita. Ay nagustis pa ang tapakas pa amin. Since last year, President Duterte has unleashed police and police-backed death squads in a brutal and murderous war on drugs that has victimized thousands of mostly poor, suspected, small-time drug users and pushers, and even the innocent. Low and order drive and continues to go to the police. Billy 
military and paramilitary groups to violate those rights. He continues to incite state security forces to commit willful violence against the people while assuring them of protection from investigation, prosecution, and punishment. In the face of such blatant display of tyranny, it is time to take a stand, to speak out, and head to act. And we can disagree from a disagreement, because I'm saying for us to spare this for I more than 20 years na nakapartan ng alkader. We demand an end to extrajudicial killings and mass murder in the name of the Duterte regime's war on drugs and war on terror. We demand a stop to indiscriminate alien bombings, artillery fire, and other destructive military operations that target civilian communities such as rural and rural communities especially residences, schools, farms, and commercial business establishments. Marami pong nagbento sa po. Isa lang po ang sasabihin ko sa inyo. Yung isang maray sabi niya, alam niyo po yung three-year-old son ko, pag natutulog po yun, sa dibdib po ng ama niya. So naka-ano siya doon, no? Nakatulog siya sa dibdib ng ama niya. Kung dumati yung polis at pinapunta yung ama niya sa loob, lahat ang utak ng ama na po sa ama. How do you ever, uh, you know, cure here this boy? We say no to black and martial law powers and it's inevitable that this. We demand an independent and impartial investigation of reported bootings, illegal arrests, and other human rights violations committed in the course of the Marawi season. Habang kayo ay anti dito nagpukulog, tulad ng ginawa ng mga atilista na nakaraang linggo, merong sa labas na isang kotse ng pulis na walang plaka. Andyan na naman po ang mga pulis tulad ng ginawa nila sa Katipunan ngayon dito sa harap ng Mary Hill ay ipinapakita nila sa atin na sila ay nakabantay. We resist efforts to silence the mass media and public opinion. We oppose moves to dismantle the system of checks and balances that are intended to prevent the return of the dictatorship. We oppose the filing of trumped-up cases, the unjust arrest, and detention of critics, activists, and those unjustly labeled as enemies of the state. We call for the release of all political prisoners. Ang kala ka lang, ay yung kapalit ka lang. Ang kami ngayon, hindi na tinatagulong bilang mga mga ayan. Trolls na. Sinasabihin na ang medalya ngayon, hindi na yung bayani. Hindi na mga nanatakot at mamay. We shall shatter the silence, fear, and acquiescence that has afflicted many, especially the victims of human rights violations, corruption, and abuse. We shall defend and promote human rights and civil liberties at all costs. We shall oppose tyranny wherever and whenever it leaves its ugly head.
hindi lang sa luma, hindi lang sa pagbansang ni Gloria. No? Gusto ko lang pag-iitin, ang UP Diliman mismo, nakapitong Tokham na. There have been seven EJ case. Ang Tokham is much more than that. The last one was just two days ago. No? So, big thing natin kami, alam namin kung ano yung mayayari. No? At, at bilang chancellor, worry no worry na ako dito kung ano mayayari sa mga estudyante na ako. Marcos Marcelo, ¡Y paquita muna!